Hi, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make epic Vox item skins like this one. To make these skins, we will use Vox item's inbuilt skin maker, also known as Vox item Studio. So let's get started. Alright, once you load up Vox item Studio, you'll notice there is a gun in the center. Some controls on the right. To zoom, use your mouse wheel or two fingers to zoom in. Scroll in or scroll out to zoom. Use left click and drag to turn this around in an angular movement. Hold down control or shift and drag around to move the objects to left and right, forward and backwards to move it farther out. You can also do this if you use your right key to click it around. That's how those are the camera movements. To choose what weapon you want, Say for example you want sniper, come over to the right, pick, click this option and choose what object type you want. For example if we want the shovel, we click shovel and boom, we have the shovel. If you look over here, it will say load. Load is the already inbuilt skins that have already been accepted. So if you come to the bottom, you can see there's heavy sniper rifle, and there's a light sniper rifle, and then there's SMG. SMG, Assault Rifle, Assault Rifle, those are what they mean. S is Shovel. So say I want to see what the Pearl Marble Shovel would look like in a detailed version. I would click Pearl Marble and then zoom in as so. So you can see how it looks like. This is the front view, this is the back view. Now, say you want to make your own gun skin then you can pick, say, the heavy sniper rifle. If you notice right here, you'll see that it says group one, group two, group three, and group four. So, each gun is made up of four color groups. As you can see already down here on the presets, they, are, they only use two groups, material zero, material one. And as you notice, each group is assigned one of those digits. So, group one is assigned zero, that means material zero. Group two is assigned one. That means material one. So if you change the numbers, you can also change what the skin looks like. So if we change group three to one, it change, changes how the skin looks. If we change group four to one, it changes how that looks. Now if you change everything to one, then it is plain now because material one is not the pattern. Material zero is the pattern. As seen, if you change everything to zero, the only thing left is the cracked pattern down here. So to make your own custom skin, just first remove any materials that are there. So this is the base version. Now you can notice that group all the groups are assigned to some zero. You can change that, but first let's make our materials. So click add to get your first material. It automatically sets your color to zero or white. This is in hexadecimal form so you can always look up like color picker to choose what color you want and then just type in the letters. So right now it's a uniform color which means that all of the material chosen for that group will be this one color. But metalness is like how like dark or how metallic it looks. The way you look at this also determines how the light shines, so if, if you look how I am tilting this, you can see how like it looks like light is shining down. So the light is sort of being faced this way, directed toward this side. If you look at the back, you can see that there's like a sh it's more shadowy because there is no light on that side. Think of it like a flashlight. Or like the sun when it's like nighttime or daytime. Now we can change this color by hovering over it and then this bar for color appears. You can click here or you can drag the circle around to change the color. To change like what um, RGB you want, you can drag this dial on the right side up and down. Say I want yellow, I'll drag it down to yellow and then right here is the shade. Maybe you want bright yellow or maybe I want dark yellow or black. You can also choose different patterns. So if you over here at type, you can choose random texture, static texture, random pattern or fade. Random texture gives you a random texture, this is the name, and you can choose how it looks. Roughness is like how dark or 
how each part is shaded. And there's metalness. The thing with random texture is that it's it's not very useful. It's only useful if you are using custom textures, which I'll get to in later parts of the video. What's more useful is like static texture, where you can choose the different things. Right here, there's pattern, random texture, and static texture. They both use a custom texture that you have to input, which I'll get to at the end. So the difference between random texture and static texture is that random texture randomizes where it puts the custom image you put in. While static texture just puts in one image and like just puts it on the gun. Random pattern is similar to random texture except it has a pattern instead of like multiple images. So you, we, we have camo and then there's four colors. Each color, if you look, zoom in closely, you can see there's one, two, three, four different colors. And you can see if it changes to red, it changes how that color looks. And now it looks sort of like a stormtrooper gun or like an evil gun. Seed is like how the pattern is. So if you go in the Vox Iom shop, it will say that there are only certain amount of gun skins but different shades or different like seeds. Scale is how big the pattern is. You can see you can see how like how big each portion of the color is. So the bigger the number, the smaller the pattern. And the smaller the number, the bigger the pattern. Roughness is same thing, how like light reflects. And then metalness is like shades like from light to dark. And then you can change these four colors to what you want. And it determines how the pattern looks. And that's K-Mo. K-Mo 2 is slightly different. It's just a... You can see like K-Mo 1 is more like smaller and K-Mo 2 is like longer. Pixel Storm is... If you look closely, they're like squares so or pixels. Cracks, they look like cracks because it's in the name. And then Hexagon creates like these little cubicles or like a honeycomb pattern. Tiger is sort of like tiger skin which is pretty cool especially if like you're in the desert if you want like a desert skin. Triangular dots is triangles with dots connecting the vertices of each triangle. Leopard or leopard don't know why I said leopard is like a leopard skin which I guess it's good if you're like a hunter although that is kind of bad if you're hunting animals and then plants gives you like little like um, flower petals so if you like that I think it looks pretty cool if you want like an exotic weapon and then flow is like veins and like spots like blood like blood cells and then geometric triangle are these little patterns so they're like it's sort of like a very modern pattern and then of course you have custom where you can input a custom pattern if you would like to. So besides that you can include multiple new materials, say you want group 2 to be group 1, you can choose a, you can hide material 1, show material, no hide material 0, show material 1. Say you want a, yeah say you want the uniform color, oh I accidentally removed it. Say you want a uniform color for the sniper scope, you set group 2 to 1, which is this. And you just choose the color white. Say I want it red, then I change the scope to red. What if I want it green? Well then, I just come over here, change it to green, and change it to green. So how you order your materials and which goes to which drastically changes how the gun looks. And it can be the difference between making it good and making it look bad. And now I'll show you how to use custom textures. All right, to add a custom texture, choose random texture static texture random pattern or fade i forgot to go over fade but i'll just go over that real fast it's sort of like a gradient where you pick one color and then you go down you can see like minimum scales like the minimum color like how far the gradient goes where it starts where it ends so you can use that to see how big of a scale it is maximum scale just zooms out or zooms in then seed is how you change it maximum offset is similar to scale but instead of making it bigger it moves it left or right based on what you want or like angles it sort of then saturation is like how bright or how dark it is same thing with lightness and max lightness but saturation is more like making it white while lightness is just like increasing the brightness direction is which way it goes maybe left or right maybe up or down x y and z and you use those to change how you color now, to go over the custom features, you can go over random pattern, 
static texture or a random pattern here. Down here where it says custom texture, click it and it will pull up your file loader. So say I want to use my logo. So this is the picture I want, Untitled Design. You click it, click open and bam, you can see that the image that I chose is now on here. This is my uh, YouTube logo. So the color, it doesn't automatically choose the color for a random pattern. You have to choose it here. Well, let me actually know. It does, I think it does choose it for you. If you click random texture, custom texture, and then put in the image, it will automatically pick the colors for you, as you can see. And then you can change how big it is, how small, or how small it is. Say you want a bunch of logos on there, you can do that. Or you just want to show part of it. And then see it just like, sort of changes the direction slightly, if you like that. And the metalness, roughness I already went over, just changes the brightness and darkness based on what you want. For static texture, if you click custom texture and put in the image, it puts it there as well. The only difference between static texture and random texture is that random texture allows you to pick the seed and how big you want the image. Random pattern and random texture are very similar except when you pick your random texture and put it in you can pick the color of each part of the logo however with random texture it automatically sets the color for you so you can see that i have picked the color for myself and yeah once you've got that you can once you have made your skin and you like it you can click export and it pops this up this is pretty much the instructions for how to make the skin as you can see materials and then it tells you what to do for each. Just right click it, copy it, and then paste it wherever you want. And then if you want to like save your image of this thing, just screenshot it. And if you want to share your screenshots or your skins, you can always share them in the Voxium Discord or in my server. Oh, and one final tip, if you don't really like this gray background or maybe you want Discord light mode, just crank this color around and you can change the shade of background. This can like change the lighting or how you look at the gun. It's really up to you. Say like a, like a dark red gun, maybe you want a red background. Or a black one if you want it to be like a spotlight. So yeah, that's all for Vox IM Studio. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.